Like say Shalom, call on Yim Laya, how about Shim El Shai? Let's see what the Bible said, that GMS, and it's the Akim. And peace and blessings to you, brothers and sisters that listen, O full elect, call on Yim Laya, how about Shim El Shai? And you know, his brothers and sisters kept the Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. We know it's for seven days. Most high ready kicking things up, put up the news report video already. And, um, you know, very serious time of the year, Psalm Assembly. You know, we get rid of the leaven in our household, but also in your spirit, man. That pride. That's the thing that the Heavenly Father hates. And that's what's on soul right now in this world, man. Okay? People are lovers of pleasure more than lovers of that. People are lovers of themselves. Okay? And the majority of our people, the majority of these people are here, period, and especially in Babylon, they're not circumspect, man. They're not watching for anything. All right? The scripture calls it what? The pride of life. But we understand the seriousness of the Passover. Well, you know, hopeful elect. You know, some Israelites think it's a party, which is not a party, man. It's a solemn assembly. And it's very serious because we know that's when the Lord gave up his body, man. And we know that through his blood, we're all covered and we all have a second chance. Grace and mercy. The most I had compassion on us by giving us Yahweh Shai, man. We're not consumed. Let me get that precept real quick. John 1 17. So be quick. So let me get that. John 1 17. John chapter 1 verse 17. It says, For the law was given by Moses, which we know, but grace and truth came by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Grace and truth. We said that grace is that mercy. Being pardoned of your sins can only come by the blood of Yahweh Shai. That's how it came. And through his sacrifice, we were able to get this understanding because he unsealed the book. So we can't take this thing for granted. Just like the Pharisees and Sadducees. You know, so men for that so deep in the law, they kept the law. Hell, they kept all the minute details, you know, concerning the ceremonial laws and the sacrificial laws. All right. Let me get that Matthew 16. But they were wicked because they gave up Yahweh Shai on the Passover, man. Condemned them to death, man. That's what Yahweh Shai said, Matthew 16 and 6. Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees, man. Okay. He said to beware of the leaven, man. Okay. Let me read on. Let me read on. It says. It says, and what does he mean by that? It says, and they reason among themselves, saying, it is because we take no bread. Which when Yahweh shall perceive, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why reason among yourselves, because ye have thought no bread. Be not yet understand, neither remember the five loaves of five thousand, how many baskets he took up. And those type of miracles are coming again, man. That's why we said, man, expect great things after this. It's going to get tough. You know, the most size has to bring us through the straight gate. But them blessings is coming too, man. All right. He's going to always provide a way. It says, neither the seven loaves of the four thousand and how many baskets he took up. How is it that he not understand that I spake it not you concerning bread, that he should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees? Then understood they how he bade them not beware of the leaven of bread, but of the doctrine, the doctrine of the Pharisees and Sadducees, man. Okay. And we can see them guys playing out today saying that, you know, Moses didn't split the Red Sea, which I may do a video on you clowns, may, may not. Right, you dudes are just wax and worse and worse, man. Thoroughly overthrown the faith um, of, of, of people that sin is truth, man, by saying there's no miracles, man. But that was an integral part of the Lord's ministry was miracles, casting out demons, performing wonders, not only preaching the gospel, but he, he brought the works as well. All right. So dudes is bugging with that, man. See, we can't be in that spirit. That's what scripture says, Ephesians 4.22. And they proud because they won't take correction. 
The scripture says in Ephesians 4.22 that he put off concerning the former conversation of the old man. All right. The man that was, uh, you know, our former selves, which, uh, you know, most of us was uh, caught up into the ways of Babylon. All right. All right. You know, caught up into her fake hopes and dreams. You know, seeking to make it here, man. Nah, man, that was the old man. Scripture says what? That he put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust, because we had leaven in us. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. That's where repentance start. Okay? Because the whole fight is in your mind anyway. And he put on the new man. Okay? A, a new lump. All right? Through Yahweh Shai, the blood of the Mashiach. Which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness, man. So putting away the old man and becoming new in Yahweh Shai. Becoming unleavened. Okay? That is the goal, man. Becoming unleavened. Let me read on. In fact, let me get 1 Corinthians 11th chapter. Let's get it, man. Quick, quick lesson. 1 Corinthians 11, 25. Seriousness of this thing. 1 Corinthians 11, 25. It says, After the same man also he took the cup, which he sub saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. That's how we're going to get the new covenant. It's through the bloody house shy. Right now, we're in a period called grace, between the space between two covenants, which came to Yahweh Shai as well. We just read it. This do we off as he drink it in remembrance of me. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> what he had to suffer. For as often he eat this bread and drink this cup, he do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. You, you, you know, you made light of his sacrifice. All right, I'm going to get that Hebrews 10, 26. But let a man examine himself, so let him eat that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body, man. So, yeah, we have grace, but we can't take advantage of that grace, man. Okay? It's time to, you know, um, tighten up because uh, this devil is coming, man. Ready to see prices. Now everybody's talking about it now, man. Reality is about to finally set in, but it's going to get worse. It says, for this cause, many are weak and sickly among you and many sleep. Some brothers are sick. Some brothers passed away. But it's just said, for if we judge ourselves, examine ourselves, we shall not be judged. Ultimately, what? Condemned. It says, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we shall not be condemned with the world. Right? The world about to get visited. As we know in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, sword, famine, death, and destruction. So, you know, drink that cup and eat that bread worthily, man. Okay? So we can be rewarded. You know, that uh, that great and, and faithful servant, man, who did his Lord's will. You know, we want to be rewarded, man. And scripture says it was a Hebrews 10, 26. So, you know, these are just basic scriptures for the uh, week of a sock, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Understanding the seriousness of it. I'm not making light of it. And uh, coming out better uh, going in because this is technically the new year. All right. Hebrews 10, 26. For if we sin willfully that we have received the knowledge of truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. See? So you after you learn this truth, you just sin willfully because you have grace. There's no more sacrifice for you, man. You got to pay for your own sins, man. See? And that's, that's the importance of the blood of the Mashiach, man. That's how we're being redeemed. All right, because we know according to the law, that's how you got redeemed from your sin. You know, you gave a sacrifice and the priest would give up that offering on your behalf. He was the mediator. But now we have a better mediator, a perfect mediator, a perfect high priest, a perfect sacrifice, man. As we read that Hebrews 13, verse 12, 
Wherefore Yahweh shy also that he might sanctify the people with his own blood suffered without the gate. Let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. That's what we're doing. All right, so we come back. It says, For um, for here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come, the kingdom. But by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to the Most High continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. So what's our sacrifice? Doing this work, man, the ministry, man. Right? It's no longer physical sacrifice no more as far as the, the, the burnt offerings. Doing the work, feeding his sheep, feeding his lambs. Okay? Not being settled on your lease. Okay? Remaining occupied in prophecy. But do good and to communicate. Forget not. For with such sacrifices, the Most High is well pleased. So the Most High is well pleased with that, man. All right? I think there's something else I want to get. You see, um, so yeah, I think that's it. But, um, the, so you he, he sanctified the people in his own blood, absolutely. Where right? we may cleanse clean through the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. He shed his blood for the nation of Israel right now with the elect, okay. Oh my, oh, I forgot that precept actually. Let me get Romans 5 and 9. I'm going to close out with classic priest of Romans, Revelations. Romans 5 and 9, it says, Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Okay? The wrath of the Heavenly Father is about to come on this earth, man, which is already here. Right? It's just going to step up because, like we said, after the Pesach, it always does. All right? And ultimately, we're going to get the victory, man. If we drunk that cup worthily, let's read it. I'm going to close it out. Revelations 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, that sacrifice. All right. And they love not their lives unto death. So call him la Yehovah, shah. You know, Lord willing, this is the last Passover, last feast of unleavened bread, man. All right. Because like the scripture says, we have no continuity, but we seek one to come, which is the kingdom. So that must say, call him Lai Hal Bashim Al Shah Shalom.